Hello, hello, my lovelies. Right, if you can all see this, I should be live. I'm hoping I am. Uh, this is the code. Yeah, so if you want to uh, go log on to kwbit.com, uh, yeah, this is your code. Hopefully that's not backwards, but I did put it in top of the uh, the live chat feed there, so you should be able to see it of all you lovely people, 38 people viewing it, yet yeah, we've only got 28 people on the quiz. You all need to join. So, yes, log on to kwbit.com and enter the code J36771. Easy as that. Okay, and then we'll get going in about 10 minutes. And I hope you all clap for the carers. I know I did. Okay, so that, that's the code. Are you ready? Are we on? Right, Sloppy Blozzers says, are you on? I'm going to check for you. Let's have a look. Yes, Sloppy Blossers, you are on, ready to go and hopefully win tonight, eh? Yeah, don't come, was it 37th last week? Uh, we did have 52 teams last week, and at the minute, we are currently standing on 30. So it's a little bit of a disappointment this week. But still 30 people, 30 teams, that's great. So again, the code is J36771. Seven seven one. So you just log on to kwbit.com and enter that code. Also enter your team name. Don't put anything too risky because obviously YouTube do watch. Okay, and we don't want to get shut down. And I think we've got music tonight. So where last week it crashed, I'm hoping it doesn't. I've tested it all day and it didn't crash and we want. So yeah, we'll have a bit of sound effects. You just won't have boring old me wittering away on your TV or your laptop or whatever device you're using this evening. Okay. Now, tonight should be quite fun. We've got six different rounds. Not the Dragons asked me earlier if you could have a little bit of general knowledge, a little bit of this. It's a little bit mixed up tonight. There is a bit of general knowledge in there. Uh, there's also some picture what rounds, like last week, but this time it's a montage. So you've got to guess who they are from the picture. I think Dave Trader, who's joined us this evening, will enjoy this round, uh, as he does at the next head. Uh, I guess and you've all been watching the news. Uh, I wouldn't listen too much to the Sun or the Daily Mail. Uh, obviously, we don't know if that's exactly true. I doubt it very much, but the will only will reopen when it's safe, and that's uh, for good reasons. Uh, so, yes, you bear with us. We'll keep you doing this every week if you want to keep playing. Yeah, keep playing. Uh, we do this insight every Sunday, so if you enjoy it on here, hopefully you'll pop down when we reopen on a Sunday. We do it from five o'clock. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of fun. Uh, we've got a few more people joining. That's good. Graham, we've joined. Good on you, Graham. Lovely. Right, you'll have to stop texting me, though, because the phone keeps vibrating. And it keeps coming off this computer. Okay, so let's get rid of Graham for a second. Okay, now if I look up... I'm not being rude. It's just real computers here, so I've got to press the button when it goes. I've got one computer here, and I've also got a phone here, so I can see the time delay. So I'm not too sure how it is. So if I stop talking, I'm going to see how long it takes to go. Yeah, that was only about four seconds. So four seconds. So your delay on your side should be four seconds. So I will bear that in mind when I'm pressing, obviously, the send answer questions, because uh, you won't get it until I press the button. So when you see me doing this, it's coming to you, okay? Hopefully fast as that. Okay, well, I hope you've all been sitting safe and having a bit of fun in the sun this week, even though you can't go out. Uh, yeah, it's a bit difficult at the minute. Obviously, the lovely weather and nowhere for us to go, but it'll soon be over. And all them holidays you've booked, I'm sure you're going to rebook them for next year. So let's have a look. What have we got now? now? Jeez, that's just come up. Rebel scum, you're back on. She's coming to defend the title. Ah, where's the mighty reds from last week? Welcome back, though, Rebel Scum. 37 teams so far, and we've still got eight, seven, seven minutes, seven minutes to go. That's all right, isn't it? Uh, as you can see, my weights in the background. I didn't really mean to have the weights in the background, but you can see, obviously, I've stepped them up this week. So, boom. That's what lockdown does for you. <laughs> 
you got to do something. I've cleaned everything. The pub is sparkling. It couldn't get any sparkling, so we've got to find other things to do. I even tried to play the piano today. Uh, I went on a course for an hour and a half. Yeah, uh, I thought that'd be fun. Played a bit, and at the end of it, it says, would you like to uh, spend $699 to get the full course? And I went, no, no. Uh, I like learning new things, but $699 is ain't really going to happen. No. So if anybody wants to uh, give me some free tuition, feel free to send me a link on YouTube, and I'll watch that. But, uh, yeah, might even try the saxophone again. We'll see. Uh, right, we've got five minutes to go before the quiz, ladies and gents. Uh, we have currently 37 teams. If anyone's struggling, again, the code is... J36771. That's your code. Let's have a look. Right, we've got one person who wants a bit of help on the phone. Let's see. Nope, oh, well, she can't find them. Crimson helmets. All right, okay. Well done, Grim. AKA Aussie. Right, use that get nice and comfy. Uh, get them codes up. Like I said, it's J36771. Uh, yeah, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just going to sort this out for Billy uh, and I'll be back. Uh, Billy, if you can text me again, it seemed to disappear off my phone. Uh, well, yeah, we'll get you sorted, but we've got five minutes before the quiz starts, ladies and gentlemen. So go grab yourself a brew, grab a cigarette, do whatever you want to do, possibly get a gin and tonic, vodka and tonic. Uh, and then we'll get started. Oh, Lee just said, can I give a shout out to Billy and Dan? Yeah, hello, Billy and Dan. Uh, again, if you want, I think you text me. If you want me to speak to you direct, give me a call. Uh, you've got my number or just text me, okay? Well, I'll be back in five. That's four. I'll do.
Hello, right, back. Okay, right, Mr. Beer has asked me to give a shout out to his lovely wife, Alison. So, hello, Alison. Welcome to the quiz. Hope you enjoy it. And the rest of you, obviously. Uh, if anybody, there's 44 teams, fantastic. If any of you teams didn't get the code, which you should have, it was on Facebook and on Rex and Madness. I believe that's upside down. Okay, this is the code. So, that's all you got to do. Go to kwbit.com. Enter the code as below, and then put your team name in. Easy as that. And then in a second, we will crack on, because I think 44 players, I think that's what we're going to get tonight. I'm happy with that. So it's one in 44 chance. Now the prize is £20 to spend at the Nags Head when we reopen. So we're not doing this just for fun. It is in your interest to win. Okay, now the quiz is really simple. It's six rounds. 12 rounds in every 12 questions in every round. Every question asks you to get the fastest finger first. Now, the fastest finger means you get extra so and so on. The quicker it is, the better. Okay. And then at the end of every round, you have an evil question. Now, for you who haven't played the quiz before, uh, the evil question is evil because you have to play it. There's no way around it. Uh, you either answer it right. What well, let's join? Uh, right, L column. Right, it's not working, won't let us join. Okay, all you got to do is go on kwbit.com. Okay, now once you've done that, it'll come up with the screen. It'll say quiz bit. Now it'll say username, so team name, put in your team name and enter J36771. And that'll link you on to us here. Okay, so that's the code. So kwbit.com on your device and then enter the code and your team name and that'll come up. Uh, if you send me a message now, tell me what your uh, team name is going to be. I'll see if you pop up, okay? Unless you've already done it, and then you can ignore everything I just said in the last 20 seconds. Go and have a look, see if I can see you on here. If you're joining in as L column or column. Uh, Rebecca, Les Quiz, Mr. Mr. Johnson, Space Rangers. Not sure if you're on there, L column. I'm reading that right, L column. Anyway, try that one. He said, drop me a text on the uh, live chat, please, L. And when we get that feedback from you, we'll get started. Okay, that's all saying about the evil question. Now, the evil question, like I said, it's evil, but you've got to answer it. Now, if you answer it incorrectly, you lose a couple of points. If you don't answer it, you'll lose a couple of points. But if you answer it correctly, you'll get lots of points. So you have to play, but yeah, get it right. If you don't, don't worry. Now, don't worry if uh, there's a person in the lead at the first round, second round, third round, fourth round, fifth round, sixth round, you could still win. So even if you come last in the first round, we've had it before, people still win if they come last in the first couple of rounds. So easy as that. So again, the code, last time we're going to do it, guys. J36771. There we are. Hopefully, L Columns joined. I've had a new one come in. Tim's Collie Crew. Hello, Tim. That's Mr. Cowell. We all know him. We all love him. Miss him too. Miss him very, very much. And his good wife, Jane, or wife to be. Uh, Blue Lounge. Just a new one. Okay. So there is a lot of new teams on tonight. Uh, I'm really happy with that. Uh, we're up to 48 players. Uh, and I think that's it, guys. I think we'll stick with 48. If you want to join in a little bit later, that's fine. If you come in late, it will still take in consideration your scores. If your computer drops out for whatever reason, that could be your internet, uh, it will pick up next time. So just log back in uh, or refresh the page and it will come straight back onto the quiz. So don't just think, ah, I'm out. Just carry on and it will work. I promise you. We've had this a couple of times, uh, but it is just down to your internet speed or provider, wherever you'll be. Okay, and if you send me any messages, again, keep it quite nice. Don't put anything a bit risky on there because we don't want YouTube shutting us down again. Okay, so I think we should start the quiz. Yay! Okay, and if I dance to a few of the tunes, it's just got like dancing. Okay. Right, so first round 
is headlines. Okay, so it's 12 questions of general knowledge all related to news headlines from across the world. Okay, easy as that. Okay, now we've got to see if this lag is going a little bit slower. So we'll start with round one. <laughs> Okay, right, question one. You need to choose one answer from the four options. That's pretty much how it goes for most of these questions. Unless it changes, I'll tell you. If it's choose two, I will let you know. Okay, so in which country is not one of the major founders of the World Health Organization? So which country is not one of the major founders of the World Health Organization? Okay, right. Fastest finger went to Dodgy Quizness. I think I've got that right. Dodgy Quizness, you've got the fastest finger in that one. Uh, and the correct answer was Canada. Yeah, the correct answer was Canada. So you, uh, a lot of you's got it right on that one. So well done. Okay, so question two, you need to choose one answer from the four options. Again, it will go like this unless I change it, so I'll stop saying it, okay? Uh, Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer was on BBC Radio 4 talking about what? So Labour leader Sir Keir Starmer was on BBC Radio 4 this week talking about what? Okay, uh, Carol Basking, you got the fastest answer there, so you get the extra points. Well done. Uh, correct answer was coronavirus exit strategy. So the answer was coronavirus exit strategy. Okay, and there does seem to be a bit of a lag, which uh, we, I can see it's on my phone. It's taken a while to get through to you guys because it's getting a while to get through to me, and I'm sat here. <laughs> right okay this lag you guys are getting uh, obviously quite a bit of a lag like you're saying taking issues of the answers uh I'm trying to take it as long as possible for obviously the questions to get through uh i'll try and do it a bit quicker see if you'll actually get it but i can only see me not catching up very fast Okay. 
Okay, well, the next question is a picture question. Okay, now I'm trying to time this right with the phone so you're getting it at the same time. Uh, the picture I'll send you on your device will be there in a second, hope. Okay, this video game developer company announced a delayed release of which game? So this video game developer company announced a delayed release of which game? Okay, again, the fastest finger went to Carol Baskin. She's on fire. Uh, the correct answer was correct. Correct? Correct answer was Fortnite. Yeah, Epic Games would not say why the delays occurred on Fortnite's new season, uh, just that it was delayed. Okay, so question four is type the correct number. So on this one, all you gotta do is type the correct number. It is what it says. Uh, children up to what age are returning to nurseries and schools across Denmark? So children of what age are returning to nurseries and schools across Denmark? Okay, yeah, uh, Space Rangers, you got the fastest one there, so extra 100 points to you, and that's 11 was the answer, 11, yeah, the government becomes the first in Europe to relax the coronavirus restrictions on education due to its low infection rates, how lucky are you? Okay, so it looks like the phone's actually fixed a little bit now. The speed should have uh, speeded up. It looks like it's working quicker on mine. Okay, so question five. Uh, during lockdown, India did not relax restrictions on what? During the lockdown, India did not relax restrictions on what? Okay, fast dancer though, little dancer, little dancer. Yeah, you little dancer, you got it fastest finger, so that means 100 points extra for your team. Uh, transport services, that was the uh, the answer for that one. 
Ooh. Okay, question six. Uh, Obama recently shared a video message about what? So Obama recently shared a video message about what? Okay, uh, right. Okay, I'll let you ring James a second because he reckons he knows why the delay might be happening. Uh, but Carol Baskin, again, you have got the fastest finger. Uh, the correct answers were endorsing Joe Biden for president. That was the uh, the answer for that one. Okay, so question seven is a picture question. So the image of COVID-19 inspection station for what situation in South Korea? So the image is an image of a COVID-19 inspection station for what situation in South Korea? Ah, Steph Annie, who might have seemed to correct me, fastest finger is 10 extra points, not 100, but they are extra points. So, but thanks for correcting me. Uh, there you go. Answer for that one, and the fastest finger was the mighty reds. Uh, citizens in line to vote. That was the answer. Okay, question eight is tap the correct number. Okay, so scientists have said that oceans can be successfully restored by what year? Answers can be within two of the answer. So scientists have said that oceans can be successfully restored by what year? Tim, that's the code to log back in. Apparently he's uh, come offline. Just choose a different name, Tim. It should be fine. Yeah, or oh, you should be able to rejoin. If you go back into your settings on your phone, just go back like the little three buttons on your phone at the bottom and uh, come round. There we go. Right, the answer, Nags Wanderers, oh, you got the fastest finger. Uh, correct answer was 2050. Yeah, scientists recommend a range of actions that are required, including protection, protect, protecting species, harvesting wisely and restoring habitats. Well, that's the answer to that. Okay, so question nine is slightly different. You need to choose two answers from the four options. And the question is, which two of the following just made their music video together in lockdown? 
So which two in the following just made their music video together whilst in lockdown? Okay, yeah, answer was Aliso Liam Payne. Aliso and Liam Payne. Don't know them myself, but I'm sure you guys did because most of you got it right. Uh, but the fastest finger with the extra 10 points uh, is Queen Street. Oh, well done, Queen Street. Okay, question 10. Choose one answer from the four options on this one. Okay, uh, who has recently used TikTok to release a new dance Choreography, choreography. Okay, so who has recently used TikTok to release a new dance choreography? Right, I just sent you all a message. Just want to know what the delay is like. So if any of you have got the uh, access to live chat, drop me a little message on the bottom to see because I've turned my phone off so I can't see obviously the live feed. Uh, so hopefully you'll be able to tell me if it's slow or faster or if you're getting it on time. Uh, fastest finger though on that question went to Molly. Well done, Molly. Uh, the, fact, the answer was Drake. And that's the answer to that. There is a Lou. Thank you. There is no delay. Fantastic. Okay, question 11, choose one answer. Thanks to the lockdown, how many more subscribers has Netflix estimated to have this year? So thanks to the lockdown, how many more subscribers has Netflix estimated to have this year? Thank you, Georgia. No delay on your end. Good and glam bust. No delay at the moment. Thank you. Thank you very much, Joel. Okay, uh, 16 million. They've got 16 million more subscribers to Netflix. Unbelievable. Uh, especially when we remember how it started. Uh, Molly, fastest finger that for you. So extra points. Well done. Okay, question 12 is the evil question. Okay, so all you need to do is tap the correct number for the evil question. So have a go. You've got to have a go. If you don't, you're going to lose points. So you may as well have a go. Uh, right, question is, Captain Tom Moore, who has raised more than £28 million for the NHS in recent weeks, was born in what year? Okay, Game of Thorns, well done, you got the fastest on that one. It was 1920, yeah, he turned 100 this year, more than 65,000 birthday cards have been sent to him across the UK. Oh, bless him. He did, he did a good job. Let's have a look. Okay, so that's the end of the first round. Okay, at the uh, I'll go from fifth to first. You know, there's a lot of teams, so I won't go through them all. So in fifth place, Lil Dancer with 1,206 points. In fourth place, Mr. Johnson with 1,261 points. In third place is Mrs. Johnson, obviously a lot more clever than Mr. Johnson, with 1,291 points. In second place, Not a Scooby, 1,389 points. But in first place, Queen of the Street, 1,404 points. Okay, so have everything to play for in the next five rounds. Excellent. I'm glad you're all enjoying it. Well, I hope you're all enjoying it. If not, send me a message. <laughs> Please don't. 
Okay. So round two is odd one out. So can you spot the odd one out? It's a bit different. We haven't done one of these before, so I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work, but let's have let's give it a go. Okay, so question one is choose one answer from the four options. Which of the following is not a South American country? So which of the following is not a South American country? Bluetooth disconnected. Ooh. Sorry, bear me a second. It was when there was a little bit of, of rear there with the uh, computer. Uh, the correct answer was Panama. Okay, so the fastest finger on that one though, is the Mighty Reds. Hello, the Mighty Reds. Welcome back. You defend your title. Uh, although Panama is Colombia's neighbour, it is situated in Central America, connected by South America. The rest are the continent, allegedly. Okay, so question two, choose one answer from the four. Which of the following is not an alkali metal? So which of the following is not an alkali metal? Okay, and the answer was radium. Yeah, and the fastest finger though went to the mighty reds again. Boom, on fire. Yeah, radium is an actual an alkali earth element. Yeah. Moving on. Question three. Which of the following is not a romantic painter? So which of the following is not a romantic painter? Okay, and the correct answer was Edvard Munch. Edvard Munch, yeah. Fastest finger, though, went to Page and James. Well done, Page and James. Uh, Munch is a famous expressionist painter, most known for the scream. I, I, I remember that one, yeah. Okay, question four is a picture question. Yeah, we all love picture questions. Uh, so this person, she, has not voiced which of the following movies or series so with this lady has not voiced which of the following movies or series. Power on. Stereo speakers. Bluetooth mode. Okay, Family Guy, that was the answer. Uh, so the question went to Fastest Finger, even went to Carol Baskin again. Well done, Carol Baskin. Yeah, there is a character in Family Guy which re uh, represents her but is not voiced by her. So she couldn't afford to pay that lady. Question five, another picture round. Uh, which of the following is not a name of for an episode in this TV series? So which of the following is not a name for an episode in this TV series? Bluetooth connected. Okay, and the correct answer, the one with the hair dye. Uh, so one with the hair dye. So if you know your friend's episodes, that was the question. If you didn't, then you would have got it wrong. But the fastest finger was the wins. Well done, the wins. 
Okay. Question six. Which of the following songs is not by this artist? So which of the following songs is not by this artist? Okay, stuck in the middle with you, Carol Baskin. You were on fire again tonight. I like it. You know, uh, but yeah, that was the answer to that one. Stuck in the middle with you. Okay, so picture question seven: Who was not a part of this movie? So who was not a part of this movie? Bluetooth disconnected. Right, okay. Uh, Robert Duval. That was the answer to that one, Robert Duval. And the Thicko Paolo, you got the fastest finger in that one. So well done, Thicko Paolo. Okay, Robert Duval is in the Godfather movie. Okay. Question eight, choose one answer from the four options on this one, ladies and gents. Okay, which is not a city in Texas? Which is not a city in Texas? Okay, uh, the answer was Santa Fe. Yeah, Santa Fe was the answer. So Mighty Reds, you got that one, fastest finger. Well done. Uh, question nine, choose one answer from the four options. Okay, which is not a river in Europe? Okay, so which is not a river in Europe? Okay, answer was Murray. Murray was the answer. The Murray River is located in Australia and it's its longest river with 2,408 kilometers. Quislamic State, though, you got the fastest finger on that one. Thank you. Okay, question 10. Choose one answer from the four on this one. Which is the following countries do, does not have a green on their flag? So which is which if the following countries does not have a green on their flag? Okay, and uh, the, the correct answer was Yemen. Okay, and the fastest finger, though, went to the Grifter. Well done, Grifter. Yeah, Yemen's flag is red, white, and black, uh, very similar to Egypt, Iraq, Sudan, and Syria. It actually says black on here, so I'm not sure if that's a typo, but I'm sure I'm assuming it meant black. Okay, so question 11 is a picture of question. Uh, the world, the word for this fruit is different in only one of these languages. Which one is it? So the word for this fruit is different in only one other language. Which one is it? Sorry, need to press the button. Okay, uh, Spanish uh, was the answer to that one. In Spanish, this is called a pina. The other three languages refer to it as a ananas or anas. Uh, not a Scooby, though. You got the fastest one on that one, so well done, not a Scooby. Okay, unfortunately, we've lost sound effects. This is what I'm trying to do. If you wonder why I keep disappearing off screen slightly. 
uh, we've lost sound effects. So unfortunately, you have my monotone voice to look forward to for the next four rounds. Uh, we'll try and keep it simple. Uh, next question. Okay, I would say bear with me because mine seem to have crashed. Every week there seems to be a slight issue with something different. So how would you refresh the page? Tell you what, that's what we do. Okay, so question is a picture question, is the evil question. Okay, like I said, we all know how this works. So the picture will down to you in a second. Uh, this author did not write which of the following books. So this author did not write which of the following books. Okay, uh, I'll have to apologise on that one, ladies and gents. Quizbit decided to go all do lally, and it didn't let any of you answer the question that one, so that doesn't really mean anything because it was an evil question. So no one will get any points, no one will get any extra points. So all I can say is, uh, yeah, sorry about that, uh, but we'll move on to the next round. Uh, but at the end of the round, uh, in fifth place, we have the beers with 1,136 points. In fourth place is not a Scooby with 1,202 points. In third place, Quizlamic State with 1,215 points. Uh, but in second place, we've got the Wins with 1,221 points. But in first place, we've got the Mighty Reds with 1,630 points. Okay, brilliant. So we'll end that round and we'll move on, like Tim says, with no music. Not a problem. To be fair, I think the first time we did the quiz, we didn't have any music anyway. It was just a bit of an additional uh, bit of fun. Okay, so congratulations to the Mighty Reds for a uh, second round win. Okay, so round three is D15 animals, feline confidence, are we? D-line, feline. Okay, so that's what it's probably all going to be about, all about the cat industry. industry. Okay, so question one, all you need to do is choose one answer from the four options. Okay, the line goes from strength to strength was a slogan used by which car manufacturer? Okay, so the line goes from strength to strength. What is the slogan used by which car manufacturer? Oh, we seem we've got a bit of music back. You probably can't hear it, dog. It's very quiet on the laptop. Okay, Peugeot, that was the answer to that one. Uh, Carol Baskin, thank you very much. You got that one well done fast. Uh, moving on to question two. Uh, choose one answer from the four. If only fools and horses, what was the name of Del Boy and Rodney's uncle? In only fools and horses, what was the name of Del Boy's Rodney's and Rodney's uncle? Uh, some might be wondering if that's juice. Uh, I tell you, it's not. No, it's vodka and juice. I'm sure you've all got a drink. Okay, answer was Albert. It was Uncle Albert. Yeah, Carol Baskin again on fire. Keep this up, Carol. Okay, so question three. Which actor starred in the film... Of film, the men who star stare at goats. The men who stare at goats. Never seen it before myself, but by the look of it, you're all answering it very, very fast, and all answering it correctly by the looks of it as well. The men who stare at goats. Hmm. Okay, George Clooney, that was the answer. I haven't seen that one myself, but uh, 
And he's got George Clooney. I'm sure you ladies loved it. Tim's Collie Crew. You got the fastest finger, and also you have joined the game again. Brilliant. Don't worry about losing the points on the other round, Tim. You never won the last four games. So, sorry, Tim. Okay. So, question four though: Who wrote the children's book "The Cat in the Hat"? So, who wrote the children's book "The Cat in the Hat"? Yeah, easy that one. It's probably the only book I've actually read. No, it's not really. It was the sleepy caterpillar. Yes, and right, that's it. Yes, obviously it was Dr. Zeus. That was so easy, that one. Dr. Zeus. Okay, but who got it fastest? Let's have a look. Mr. Johnson. Surprise, surprise. Well done, Mr. Johnson, for reading Dr. Zeus books. And you can't say it's to your kids either. I'm sure it's not. Okay, uh, question five. Who starred in the sitcom Up the Elephant and Round the Castle? So who starred in the sitcom Up the Elephant and Round the Castle? Oh, she was all fast on this one. Nearly every team's answer that within four or five seconds. Okay, so at the end of that was Jim Davidson. Jim Davidson was the answer for that one. I haven't seen that one. It must have been one in the 80s, I guess, or 70s, possibly. Uh, little Dancer, though. You're on fire again, Little Dancer. Okay, so moving on to question six. Who was the star of the remake of the Pink Panther film? Okay, who was the star of the remake of the Pink Panther film? Film. I can't say it properly. Nobody mock me. And Tim, yes, you do beat me on the PS4, but uh, I'm not sure you've got more time on your hands around decorating and jet washing and washing the upholstery and doing the freezers and cookers and painting front rooms. You're generally just working. Steve Martin, yeah, fantastic movie, The Pink Panther. It was uh, not as good as obviously uh, the original, but he did a good job, I thought. Uh, the Mighty Reds, well done, Mighty Reds. Okay, so question six, seven, sorry. Tap the correct number for question seven. Uh, how many fingers does Mickey Mouse have on each, each hand? So how many fingers does Mickey Mouse have on each hand? But nobody Googling. Yes, you've got 20 seconds to answer, but let's keep this civil. I think 20 seconds will give you enough time anyway. Like I said, it's all about fastest finger. Okay, how many did he have? He had four. Yes, he had four. So, correct answer was four, like I said. And the fastest finger was Space Rangers. Well done, Space Rangers. Okay, so question eight. Which Boomtown Rat song contains the line, there's screaming and crying in the high-rise blocks? All right, you know what it was? It was Rat Trap. Yeah, Rat Trap, quality song. Paige and James. Well done, Paige and James. You got the fastest finger in that one, so extra points to you. Okay, question nine, moving swiftly on. Which Italian football club are nicknamed the Zebras? So which Italian football club are nicknamed the Zebras? Oh, Matty and Becky, well done. You were fast on that one. Well, hello, Matty and Becky. I, sorry, I meant to give you a shout out earlier. With Billy and Dan. All the way from Red Car, up the borough. That's one of our teams. Sloppy Blossers. A lot of people from the North East playing tonight. Obviously, Mr. and Mrs. Johnson. Uh, Juventus, that was the answer to that one. Uh, fastest finger. I'm going to try and pronounce this one. Quarantines. 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 
I guess you're going for the Cortina's uh, way, but uh, like Okay, moving on to question 10, though. The rugby league team, the Rhinos, are from which English city? Okay, so which league team, the Rhinos, are from which English city? Okay, and the answer was Leeds. Yeah, another northeast town or, yeah, Yorkshire's town. Uh, Red Machine, though. Well done. You've got the fastest finger for that one. Okay, question 11. Which group had a 1970s number one hit with Tiger Feet? Hmm. Okay, fastest finger though, Carol Baskin again. Well done. Uh, Muds was the answer for anyone who didn't get it right, but the looks of it, most people got that right. Yeah. Okay, so question 12. We've got the evil question this time. Uh, so, yeah, so we know what it's about. You've got to answer it. You know, if you don't, you lose points. If you do, you get it right, you get points. Uh, right, so choose one answer from the four for the evil question. Who uses the catchphrase, don't have a cow, man? Easy peasy. Tim, don't worry about not having any work. I'll have lots of work for you when we reopen. You can come and do a lovely video of our music weekend, barbecue and bar and everything. You can do a nice video for that one. Uh, Bart Simpson, though, that was an easy one. Bart Simpson was the answer to that. Lil Dancer, though, you got the fastest finger on that one, so you get the extra points at the end of the round. Okay, so in fifth place for that round, we have Queen Street for 1,856 points. Lil Dancer, just on equal points, 1,000... 856 points. Uh, third place is Matty and Becky. Yay! Well done, Matty and Becky. 1,981 points. Team Andersar, 2,009 points. Uh, in first place, new to the pole position for this round is Shez and Dave. Yay! Well done, Shez and Dave. We're all to play for in the next rounds. Okay. What will the next round be? Let's see. Okay. It's a picture this round. So you've got 12 questions, 12 images, 12 chances for that fastest finger bonus. It's all about the fastest finger. Okay. So I don't have to explain every round. It's all going to be pictures. So they will come to your device when I press the button. So I'll keep an eye out. When you see me doing that, get your finger ready. Okay. So picture one. What is the name of this actor? So what is the name of this actor? Uh, anyone or Tim or anyone, if you could put a little thing on there saying you're not seeing the uh, the pictures before I've actually answered the question, somebody let me know if that's happening because I don't want that to be the case. I'm sure you get a head start, which is a little bit unfair. Nothing I can do about it. I'd just be interested to know if that's happening. Uh, Asa Butterfield, Asa ASA Butterfield was the answer for that picture question. Carol Baskin, oh, well done. Again, fastest finger. Okay, question two. What type of weapon is this? Time for slurp. Okay, answer was a hell bird or hell beard. I'm going to spell it for you, H-A-L-B-E-R-D. That's H-A-L-B-E-R-D. Try to do a little bit of, uh, you know what the program was. Okay. Not a Scooby-Doo, fastest finger on that one. Okay, question three. 
Who is this? Hmm, who is this? Quizakabusi. I like that team now. That's like that. There's a few really good names in here tonight. I like it. The Woodpeckers, Quizakabusi, Tim's Collie Crew, Dodgy Quizziness. Uh, Hugo Chavez, or Chavez, uh, Matty and Becky, though. Well done, you've got the fastest finger in that one. Okay, question four. This is a statue of which Greek god? So this is a statue of which Greek god? Not like the Greeks to cover up their uh, jubules. But it was only a small fig leaf anyway. So uh, Apollo, yeah, Apollo had the smallest fig leaf. Uh, woodpeckers, well done, Woodpeckers. I mentioned you a minute ago. So well done for getting the fastest finger in that one. You know your Greek gods, obviously. Uh, question five, which city is shown in this picture? So which city is shown in this picture? Okay, uh, it's Paris. Yeah, it's a painting depicting the French Revolution. If uh, I'm sure you all knew that. Uh, not a Scooby did. Uh, whether or not he knew it was an actual fact. Should be helping much, that should be. Helping much. Yes, Tim, you're helping, of course. I'm going to obviously lend a hand. Predominantly, I'll be pouring you beer. If you wonder what he said there, he wanted to know if I was going to be helping or just doing all the work. Not doing all the work. Okay, so moving on to question six, though. What is the name of this French detective? So what is the name of this French detective? Oh. Easy peasy. We had the similar question a couple of rounds ago. Oh, I get you, Tim. Okay, dogs aren't helping much. Okay, well, he's not going to. The collies. Good at getting sheep, not the questions. Okay, Inspector Closer. Yes, uh, I believe that picture was taken from the Pink Panther show, something I regularly watched as a kid. Fantastic program. Uh, Woodpeckers, though, you got that one fastest finger, so extra points for you. Okay, moving on to question seven. Which Eastern European country is this? So which Eastern European country is this? Okay, answer was Bulgaria. Yeah, Bulgaria for that one. Uh, not a Scooby, you got that fast of here. And you wonder why I'm dancing all the time in my head? It's because I can hear some music. I don't know if you guys can hear the music. It's not very loud. Uh, but yeah, it keeps me entertained. Along with the vodka and orange. Oh, great for orange. Okay, question eight. What is the name of this character's portrayed by Russell Crowe? So what is the name of this character portrayed by Russell Crowe? Ooh, I don't think I know this one. Excuse me. Oh, big sneeze. Sorry about that. Okay, so the picture portrayed by Russell Crowe was John. It is John Nash from 2001's A Beautiful Mind. Carol Baskin again got that one fastest finger, so well done. 
Thank you, Paul. Yes, Gesundheit. Yes, thank you very much. Yes. We have all things are getting cold and I'm locked in. How's that work? But it is only a cold. Okay. Question nine. Uh, wait, in what year was this movie released? So which year was this movie released? Glad I didn't say a film. <laughs> oh, dear. That must be the cold. Okay, answer was 1977. Yes. Uh, who got the fastest finger in that one? Let's have a scroll up. Lil Dancer. Like it. Okay. Uh, question 10. Which Batman movie featured this character? So which Batman movie featured this character? Uh, and Tim, how many groups are there today? There is 48. So only three down from last week. That's not too bad. And thank you for all 48 for joining the quiz tonight. I think I did say at the beginning, which uh, I would definitely say at the end as well. Okay, uh, answer was Batman Forever. Yeah, that was, uh, what's it called? Oh, Jim Carrey, wasn't it? Jim Carrey, I think the, the, the uh, person who played the Riddler was. Yeah. Carol Baskin, though, you knew that one fastest finger, so you get the extra points. Okay, question 11. Which national football team's badge is this? Okay, uh, and so it was Argentina. Uh, Carol Baskin, you got the fastest figure on that one again. Uh, I said we had 48 teams. I think we've lost a few there, people. Uh, well, I hope we haven't lost them. Uh, we did have a few people there. The Winds, Tech Warriors, didn't come up on the, uh, on the sheet there, but uh, I'm sure that might pop up in the next round. Okay, so question 12. So to end the round off with an evil question. What is the name of this sprinter? So what is the name of this sprinter? Boom, to you. Possibly, it's just some people uh, just give up, by the looks of it. Yeah, Donovan Bailey. Yeah, Donovan Bailey is the answer to that one. Uh, Thicko Paolo, though, you knew that one fastest fingers, so you get the extra points at the end of the round. So where does that put you, guys and girls? Let's have a look. Okay, so in fifth place for this round is the Grifter, uh, 1,447 points. In fourth place, we've got Woodpeckers, yeah, uh, 1,458 points. Third place, the Mighty Reds, 1,469. In second place, though, the Beers, 1,721. But just ahead for that round is Kwisakabusi with 1,785 points. Well done. Uh, but it is all to play for in the next round, so not be too disheartened if you haven't placed in the top five. Okay, so round four. That was a good round. I like round four. Uh, but round five is a celebrity face mashup. So we're going to do, I'm assuming we're going to get two celebrities or three or four, we don't know. And we're going to mash it together. And then you've just got to guess who this person is. Yes, all mashed up. Not creepy at all, is it? Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be lovely pictures. But let's start the round and let's see how it goes. And at the end of this round, we'll have a little break. You can all get cigarettes and a drink or whatever you need to do. Go to the toilet. Again, whatever you want to do. Uh, so question one, which two celebrities can be seen here? 
Ooh. At least we give you a fighting chance so you have got some options to choose from, not just guess it. Yes, Dave, you should maybe put that into your quiz. Make it a lot easier. Yeah, well, a few of you's got it right. Not the Scooby though, knew it fastest. Uh, Charlie Sheen and Ashton, Ashton Kutcher. Yeah, that's a bit of a weird mix up, isn't it? It seems though he nicked his role off him in uh, Two and a Half Men. But that was the answer. So, question two which celebrities have been mashed up together on this one? Okay, did you get it? was actually Jeff Bridges and Brian Cranston. Don't know Brian Cranston, but we all know Jeff Bridges, I would assume. Uh, Carol Baskin, no, you did know it. Well done. Okay, question three. Which celebrities can be seen in this one? So yes, it's all mixed up. So which one are they mixed up with? Yeah, it looks like we're down to 45 if people want to know how many teams are actually playing now. Yeah, 45. So we must have lost a few. Whether that's uh, just down to not enjoying the quiz, hopefully not, or it's just the fact of the internet, possibly that. Let's hope it's the latter. Uh, right, yeah, it's Cristiano Rialdo and uh, Lionel Messi. Lionel Messi? Lionel Messi? I'm not very really good at football, but uh, Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi. Okay, fastest one knows Matty, Matty and Becky. Well done, Matty and Becky. Whoop, whoop. All the way home in Billingham. Okay, question four. Which two of the following celebrities have been mashed together in this one? Mashed up. Tim, yeah, you got a football on right, yeah? <laughs> okay, not a Scooby, fastest finger in that one. And the answer was Gerard Butler and David Beckham. That was an odd mix up there. Okay, so question five, which two celebrities can be seen in this one? I'm assuming they're all gonna be celebrities. Oh. All right, time's up. To see, let's see who got it right. Okay, the answer though was Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans, believe it or not. Chris Evans. I'm assuming it's the other Chris Evans. Uh, yeah, it can't be the other, can't be Ginger Chris Evans. Uh, not a Scooby, you knew it was. Well done. Okay, question six. So which two celebrities are matched up in this one? <laughs> Okay, so Tiger King, there's a new one on today. It's uh, fastest finger anyway. Fastest finger, well done, Tiger King. She got fastest. Emma Watson and Russell Brand. Yeah, that was a weird mix-up, wasn't it? Uh, here we go. So question seven, which two celebrities can be seen here? Thank you. 
Yeah, those who might have played this last week, uh, you might have seen that, obviously, the winners from last week, uh, the Mighty Reds, they got second in na- national quiz on this one, because this is all linked together for, uh, obviously, the entire the UK. Uh, so to come second out of the entire the UK last week was phenomenal. So let's see where you guys place tonight. Uh, I believe if you get first, you get put into a prize draw and you can win some big money, not just our 20 quid bar tab. Uh, but the answer for that question was Pharrell Williams, or Pharrell Williams, and Channing Tatum, or Tatum. Okay, so, not a Scooby, you knew the fastest, that one. Sorry, I have to scroll up and down to get the, uh, my screen isn't big enough to actually cope with the entire screen. Uh, question eight, which two slurries have been mashed together on this one? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, and Tim, uh, the film you just mentioned there with Chris Evans, uh, I believe actually it's been re-released, the movie, because we're bringing out a series next month uh, of the actual film. So that's a bit of uh, information for you there. Uh, Sean Connery and Bill Gates was the mix-up, uh, mash-up on that one. Who got the fastest finger? The wins. Well done, wins. Okay, moving on to question nine. No, which two celebrities can be seen in this one? Yeah, and Tim, I believe uh, the uh, the snow piece has not been rebooted. It's just a new a new series. Google it. Not right now, though. You're playing a quiz. Okay, uh, Ryan Gosling and Gary Oldman was the answer to that one. And the top fastest finger was Shez and Dave. Well done, Shez and Dave. Okay, question 10 No, Which two celebrities are in this mashup? Don't know why my voice went a bit higher there. Okay, so the mashup consisted of Ben Affleck and Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, Stico Paolo, you got the fastest finger in that one. Okay, only one more question until the evil question, ladies and gentlemen. Which two celebrities can be seen in this one? Tim, I will ring you later about the movie. Yes, I'm not sure what you're actually talking about. Uh, but the answer to the question, though, I'm sure ladies and gentlemen would like to know, is Keanu Reeves and Javier Bardem. Bardem? Javier Bardem? Uh, you obviously all knew it. I didn't. But Woodpeckers knew it fastest. Okay, so the evil question, last question of the round. So which celebrities can be seen in this picture? <laughs> ah, fantastic. Yep, Morgan Freeman and Mashmol McLemore. McLemore? Don't know McLemore. I could get the Morgan Freeman bit, but uh, no, the answer is Morgan Freeman and McLemore. Uh, Tiger King. Well done, Tiger King. Okay, so at the end of round five, Quislamic State have taken fifth place on uh, 1,471 points. Equal points is Game of Thrones. Uh, the wins are just ahead with 1,480 points. Uh, Maddie and Becky, though, well done, 1,585 points. 
Uh, we're storming ahead on that round is Molly. Well done, Molly. 1,869 points. So at the end of that round, well done to all of you. Uh, right. Okay. So we can either have a little break or we can crack on. There's only one more round. Uh, we'll get an earlier finish if you want to uh, crack on. Or like say, have a break. Uh, what, what do people want to do? Someone give me a little text here and let me know if you want a little break. Yay, Molly. Yay, you go. No, Molly's not saying yay. It's Tim saying yay. Well done, Molly. Right. So I'm guessing nobody wants a break. Okay. That's fine. We can crack on. It's only 12 more questions and we'll see who's the winner of the £20. Okay. Let's have a look. So, happy to crack on the last round. No problem, Glam Dust Beauty. We'll do that one for you. Right. So, crack on. Well done, Ellie. L. Grifter Smith, crack on. Okay, now round six, the last round is the chain round. So every answer is related to the next question. So the answer on the first one, it will relate to the next question coming up. That's basically how it works, okay? A bit of fun around this one. Okay, so one uh, question one, choose one answer from the four options. Which title is given to the wife of the US president? So which is title given to the wife of the US president? Oh, one more answer. Yeah, well, that was an easy one, though. Yeah, it was the first lady, obviously. First lady. Uh, not a Scooby. Was the fastest answer that one? Okay, so choose one answer from the four in question two. Which Australian state is nicknamed the first state? Okay, New South Wales. That's the answer to that one. Woodpeckers, well done. You got the fastest on that one. Okay, what is the em emblem of the flag of Wales? What is the emblem on the flag of Wales? Easy peasy. Oh, you all answered that straight away, obviously. Oh, there's a few stragglers. That must be our Northeast crew. Yeah, and easy peasy, you all got that right. It's a dragon, of course it is. Uh, the winds, you got the fastest finger in that one, though. Okay, question four. Which naval commander has known was known as the dragon by the Spanish? So which naval commander was known as the dragon by the Spanish? <laughs> uh, Sir Francis Drake yeah who got that one fastest though it was Quizbees Quizbees you got a fastest finger that one well done uh, and Billy and Dan you've got their palmo if doesn't, people don't know what palmo is it is a North East delicacy consisting of chicken breadcrumbs vegetable sauce and lots of cheese yeah you enjoy that on Billy and Dan uh, save me a bit send it in the post uh, but yeah get back to the quiz it's all in it for next round well this round is the last round but you know what I mean by the end of the round Okay, question five. Which sitcom starred Paul Nichols and John Francis? So which sitcom starred Paul Nicholas and John Francis? Okay, Just Good Friends was the answer to that one. I haven't seen that one, so I wouldn't have got it right if I was playing, but the Tiger Kings have definitely seen it because you've got it fast as finger. Okay, question six. Which character in Friends was a soap star? Yeah, easy peasy. 
Weren't they all soap stars, though? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know what I mean with the question. Uh, Joey Trebbiani. Yes, he was, uh, oh, he was, what was he, Dr. Can't remember his name anyway, but uh, he was, that was the answer. Drake Ramore, I've just been told. There we are. Uh, which I'm sure I'll be seeing that over the next couple of weeks. Obviously on uh, Comedy Central. Uh, question seven, though. Which sitcom featured siblings called Joey, Jack, Adrian, Billy and Aveline? Yeah, it was bread. Gotta get up, gotta get up. Take the world by the horses. Yeah, I won't keep singing, but yeah, that was yeah, some bread. Uh, classic 80s. Uh, I think it was early 90s as well. A uh, little dancer, though. You got that one? I don't need correcting if I got that wrong, by the way. Uh, I know the, uh, the song wasn't exactly correct, but uh, moving on. Question eight. Uh, according to the popular song, what is a drink with jam and bread? So according to a popular song, what is a drink with jam and bread? Tea. Yeah, tea is the answer to that one. I didn't know it, but uh, Queen Street did. So fastest finger for you. Extra points. Okay, moving on to question nine. The Russian Tea Room is a famous restaurant in which American city? New York, that was the answer. I was in New York quite well, a couple of years ago, but I didn't go there, unfortunately. I wish I did. Uh, Dodgy Quizness, you've got that fastest finger for that one now. Well done, you've obviously been... Uh, question 10. Newark Liberty International Airport, which serves New York City, is situated in which U.S. state? Mm. Yeah, New Jersey, New Jersey. That was the answer for that one. Uh, Rebel Scum. Hello, welcome back, Rebel Scum. Hey, you have to defend your title tonight. But uh, we'll see what happens at the end of the round. But you got it fastest finger, though. Well done. Uh, right, question 11. The one before the ultimate last. Okay. Who was the founder of Jersey Zoo? So who was the founder of Jersey Zoo? Okay, yeah, uh, Gerald Durrell. Yeah, the answer to that one, Gerald Durrell. Uh, Nags Wanderer got it fastest. Uh, and we don't leave anyone out. Uh, I believe Dark Horse Team, uh, I know you're doing all right on this, not too bad, but you're not left out. We're giving you a big shout out from uh, all the love at Nags head. So, hello, Dark Horse Team. Uh, hopefully, your fastest finger would have got you the next point in this round. So, well, let's see. Okay, last question. Last question of the quiz. That's it, ladies and gents. We've gone through it so quickly tonight. I don't know how I probably just not having a break. Uh, but yeah, last question. So it's all about the fast finger. So get on it right now. Uh, which actress is the star of the TV drama The Durrells? Okay, which actress is the star of the TV drama Durrells? Ooh, it's still working. So close. Who's going to take the prize? Two seconds. Okay. Keely Hawes was the answer to that one. Keely Hawes. Yes, I didn't know that one. But Paige and James did. So well done, Paige and James. Keely Hawes. So that's the end of the round. So at the end of the last round... Now, these are just the scores. It's not the overall ones. But in fifth place was the Quarantiners. 
with 1,987 points. Just ahead in fourth was Red Machine with 2,001 points. Third place, Philco with our year 2020. Uh, second place, The Beers, 2,170. But just sneaking ahead there, Woodpeckers was 2,234 points. But that doesn't mean who's the winner that is first. Let's see who it is. Okay, scrolling down. Okay, so in fifth place was the beers. Now, this is overall points, okay? So fifth place, the beers, 8,194 points. Fourth place were the woodpeckers. Well, the woodpeckers, 8,227 points. Third place, Quizakabusi, 8,281 points. A couple of hundred ahead there, Molly. Molly, you had 8,441 points, but... With the full position, Team Andazar, 8,659 points. So only a couple of hundred ahead. But yeah, Team Andazar, and they didn't get any fastest fingers. Crazy. So yeah, well done, Team Andazar. Drop me a line on our Facebook page. Obviously, let me know who you actually are, because I'm guessing your real name isn't Team Andazar. Uh, and then I'll make sure you get a voucher for when you return to the Nags. Hopefully you do. And you can use that one uh, on food and drinks. But yeah, £20 price to team and as uh, well done. Uh, thanks for everyone taking part tonight. I know the quiz went a little bit off rails for a time there, obviously with the uh, music. You know, so I try to keep you entertained by talking a bit. I do tend to rabble. The wife says this all the time. Uh, yeah, no, hopefully join us again next week. All these weeks are going so fast. This is uh, week four of the quizzes. So, I mean, there's obviously going to be an extra couple of weeks, I guess, and hopefully maybe back in the pub soon rather than later, but uh, we don't know. But we will keep doing this every Thursday after the clap for the carers, half eight. Yeah, spread the words. If you get more teams, it'll be a lot more fun. Uh, I mean, 48 teams tonight. We lost a couple, I think, down to uh, the internet. Uh, but there's nothing we can do about that one. But I'm glad you all enjoyed it. You know, I can't see any of you in person, so it's just nice to even see you typing on the screen. Uh, and hopefully it's nice to see me. Uh, not too ugly, I hope. Uh, I haven't ruined your night by uh, boring you too much. But, uh, yeah, till next week, my lovelies. And, uh, yeah, stay safe. Stay inside. I know a lot of people are. There's a few people outside who aren't obviously conforming to uh, the rules, but they're naughty ones. Uh, we're not. We all want to keep Wrexham safe and the entire UK. Uh, so, yeah, so I'll join us again next Thursday. Uh, if you have any suggestions, if you want to try something new, I don't know, maybe Zoom or anything like that, uh, if you think YouTube's not working out for you, let me know because I can only work towards uh, obviously your requests, okay? But for now, we'll keep on going with YouTube. And uh, good night, Nostar, and I'll see you next week.